Humans are largely responsible for harmful gases that trap heat in our atmosphere, causing global warming. Rising global temperatures have been responsible for changes in weather and climate. Small changes in temperature lead to large and dangerous climate change. Climate change includes more severe storms, floods, droughts, and unpredictable atmospheric events. I think one of the biggest impacts is actually um, hunger um, because we have areas that used to be able to have uh, a, a good number of crops and now they don't because they're actually starting to turn into dry arid regions um, and experiencing more drought in some of those regions because of global warming. Um, and so with that and the world population increasing exponentially over time and the food supply decreasing, I think hunger is one of the biggest impacts on human, humans pretty much now. In the future, we'll continue to see the uh, ice in the poles start to melt, especially the North Pole. Um, the Arctic region up there, the ice will begin to melt, and um, so global warming will actually start to increase some more. I think one of the biggest impacts is going to be the rising sea level, So, which isn't actually because of the ice melting at the poles, but because as you heat any kind of substance, it expands, right? So you have the oceans, and you're warming them up, so the water is going to expand, and that causes sea level to rise. Um, I moved here about three years ago from Virginia Beach. In that area, just in the last decade, I've seen a lot more flooding anytime there's any kind of small coastal storm. Um, so it's a good uh, preview of what could happen in other places around the world. It's that it's such a, a gradual thing. It's a, a gradual process. It's not something overall that we can uh, just see, you know, from day to day, which is how, you know, we operate. You know, we're, we're such, you know, a society now where we see, you know, we want to know what's happening today and tomorrow. And when, you know, we have a few degrees temperature change over 30 years even, you know, that's not something you remember exactly what it was 30 years ago, you know? it's hard for us to kind of see that and feel it ourselves. You know, especially when, you know, you had last year, which was extremely warm last summer and temperatures over 100 here in Madison. And this year, you know, it's 20 degrees cooler, you know? So it's like, oh, I don't see any climate change happening. But, you know, it's those kind of swings back and forth that are examples of the weather patterns overall that are changing. The main causes are definitely the, um, pollution from factories and cars um, and other greenhouse gases, primarily carbon dioxide, CO2, being entered into the atmosphere and then over time, you know, uh, kind of self-propelling itself. Well, I never really thought before that it was would be a big deal to me, but it is. We are all going to be affected and it's not going to be in a long time. It's soon. It's not that far away when it's going to start affecting plants, animals. More animals are going to go extinct. More ice is going to melt. Our, water, our ocean is going to rise, which will cause more floods, which will cause more people to move from the coast, which would be pretty bad. It's a big deal. It's, it's not just your th thing that you don't have to believe in. It's a really big deal. Um, it's affecting our Earth, and eventually, if we don't do anything about it, big things are going to happen, big things that are really bad. So we have to do something about it, and we have to do it as soon as possible.
to be able to stop global warming is, is, that is, is would be really, really hard to do. Um, to definitely you know, slow it down, I think, is going to be what we can do. And that would be um, doing more efficient things like walking or riding your bike, um, driving less, no hummers, that sort of thing, you know? And I think even smaller things like, you know, going to the local farmer's market, for example. You go to the farmer's market and you get your food there and that the food's not having to be put on a ship or a plane or a truck halfway across the world to get to you, you know? So, you know, you're just riding up to your local farmer's market and getting your food. I think that's something important too. I really think that the, the best thing that we can do as people is to just almost be aware that it's happening. You know, that's one of the biggest hurdles right now, it seems, is that it's happening and that humans are part of the reason why it's happening. Once we recognize that this is a fact, that we can start making big changes overall. You know, I think the little things that we can all do, driving better cars, biking to work, those are great, but I think it's the really big changes that will have the biggest impact that individuals can't do. We have to have a whole society do. Like um, new advances in different sorts of power, you know, electricity, whether it's uh, wind or something we haven't even thought of yet, you know, but uh, money going towards that sort of research, I think, um, will help overall. Whether you live in, uh, along the coast and you have uh, more coastal storms or more flooding, or you live in the uh, middle parts of a country where you have more deserts and more uh, drought over time, everybody will be affected. Okay, we have to record this now at some point. Come on, we have to record that you're... Yeah. Rising global temperatures have been accompanied by... Sorry, I gotta start over. Rising global temperatures have been responsible by changes in weather and... Hot dogs. Small changes in dangerous lead to... The camera is on. Turn it off. Turn off the camera. Humans are largely responsible for harmful gases that heat trap atmosphere. Okay, okay. I Stop. Stop the recording. Climate change includes more severe storms, floods, unpredictable atmosphere droughts. I mean, start over. Okay, start the interview. One, two, three, go. Where do you live? Excuse me? It, excuse me? What's your phone number? Oh, okay, stop, stop the camera. Social security? Stop the camera.